All right, so we have created our nested character styles. Now what we're going to do is change, um, we're, we're going to add a text variable so that our running header for the uh, author names and the title of the article changes dynamically depending on what article you know the reader is viewing. So right now, if you remember, um, let me turn this thing on again. In my pages panel, uh, we set up our body text uh, paragraph style to, uh, or sorry, we set up our body text master page to have the names of the authors on the left page and the name of the article on the right page. And if you remember, we just hand keyed that information in. So what that does, if I come to my pages two and three spread, is it means this is great uh, for the first article because Connie Lamb and Robert S. Means did write it and it is called a uh, historical survey of LDS fiction. But as I scroll down and I get to the second article, the narrative call pattern, I have my old, uh, my old running header for the title of the article and for the authors. What I could do if uh, I weren't familiar with um, text variables is just simply create another master page um, and hand key in the name of this article, the narrative call pattern, and hand key in its author name, Stephen D. Ricks. That would be okay, but text variables are super cool, and if you're ever working with a document that um, has a lot of different articles in it, you may find text variables to be very helpful and a big time saver. So let's, uh, let's make some text variables for this one. The first thing we have to do is make sure that a paragraph style is applied to the title of the article and the author of the author name of the article. And uh, we never did create the paragraph styles for those. So let's do that now. Um, I'm going to come over to my paragraph styles. I'm going to option click on the new paragraph style button so that it just pulls up. I'll create one called title and I'm going to make it, oops, triple click there, you can see Avenir, and I'll go heavy, and we'll do 16 over 18. We'll set a tracking value of 25, and then in indents and spacing, I want it left aligned, that's great, and I just want my space after to be 2p0. So that's all we're gonna do there. Okay, and then I'm going to create another paragraph style called author, and, oh, I've got to make sure it's based on no paragraph style, that's good. And this one is going to be Avenir Light, and we'll make it 9 over 13 with no tracking, and indents and spacing, we'll do a 6p0 space after. Okay, so I have title and author, and let me just double check title. I want to make sure it's not based on anything because I didn't double check that at first, so that's good. We'll scroll to the top to page one, and we'll apply our title paragraph style. Let's see where it go. Oh, it's up here. So that looks good, and then we'll do our author paragraph style there. So that's great. And now I'll scroll down and do that same thing to the title of the second paragraph style, so we'll come over and do title and author. Okay, and that is good. Now we have our paragraph styles applied. What we need to do is go to our master page and our running headers, remember, are on our body text master page here. And I'm going to delete what we typed uh, the first day that we were working on this. So I just have my cursor blinking in my uh, in my text frame there. I'm going to come up to the type menu and I'm going to select text variables and then I'm going to select define. And what I will do at this point is create a text variable that will give me dynamic content for my running headers. Now what's nice is InDesign assumes that you are going to, to do this, so they have a running header um, text variable already set up.
but let's go in and edit the uh, the way that it's going to be used so that um, we make sure that it's the right the right information that gets pulled in there. So we'll leave the name running header, that's great. The type will be running header paragraph style. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, and, and we're selecting running header paragraph style because in the style menu, we're going to choose the name of the paragraph style that we created to pull that content in. So essentially what's happening here is InDesign will search through the document and it will find a paragraph that has the paragraph style called author applied to it and then it will pull whatever text has whatever text um, has that paragraph style applied to it into the running header. So it's really cool. So we'll set the style to author, um, use will be first page, and it's nice that you can delete the end punctuation or change the case depending on the design of your uh, piece. Uh, we've designed it in a way that allows us to leave all of these blank. So we'll just hit OK, and then we'll select Insert. And when I do that, you can see that now we have this nice uh, running header in brackets on our master page. So I will go ahead and click Done, and then I'll do the same thing over here. <coughs> now this one's going to be a little bit different. I'll um, delete it, come up to Type, and text variables and define. And now we already have our running header defined to bring in the, um, the uh, author name, the author paragraph style. So let's go ahead and create a new one, a uh, new text variable for our article titles. And let's call it a running header title. Uh, this type will be the same, it'll be a running header paragraph style and the style will be title because again we want to pull in the text that has the title paragraph style applied to it. Uh, again we'll leave all of this blank and we'll hit OK and insert and there it is. So we'll hit done. And actually what I want to do just to keep these totally straight is uh, come in, put my cursor on our uh, left page running header, go back to type text variables and define and I actually want to double click the running header and just edit the name and call it running header author just to keep us all straight. Okay. So now I have running header author, running header title and let's see what it looks like. I'll double click on my spread two to three because those two pages have the body text master page applied to them. And I can see that I have Connie Lamb and Robert S. Means, and I have a historical survey of LDS fiction, the Lee Library Connection. So that's awesome. Now if I come down and you can see that my second article starts on page 7 because it has a start master page applied to it. I'll come down to spread 8 and 9. And I have Stephen D. Ricks and the narrative call pattern and the prophetic commission of Enoch. Moses 6. So this is awesome. Uh, if I had a document that was a hundred articles, I wouldn't have to go in and hand key in all of that different information. So it's a really great tool. You'll notice though that the name of this article is very long and it's really squished up in that, um, up in that area. Let's fix that. Uh, what I can do, the best way to fix that and to still be able to use our text variables is to create a character style for part of the text, um, the part of the text that we want included in our running header. So in this case, uh, I just want it to say the narrative call pattern period. So what I'll do is just highlight the narrative call pattern and then I'll come over to my character styles and I'll create a new one and I'll just call it a uh, title for running header and I'll actually just leave everything totally blank. Let's see if this works. So I'll just hit OK. I just need to have a title or, or sorry a character style defined for just this text. So in other words uh, if I have this text highlighted I have my character style applied. If I click outside of that text, I should have no character style applied. It looks exactly the same, but I just know that I have a character style applied to this text, so that's good. 
let's do the same for the first article title. So I'll highlight just a historical survey of LDS fiction. I don't want my colon, that would be weird, right, if it just ended in a colon with nothing after it. So a historical survey of LDS fiction, I will um, select my character style called title for running header, and that should be good. Now what I'm going to do is go back to my master page. So pages panel, body text master page. <clears throat> I'll click inside my running header title um, uh, text variable. Go back to type and text variables and define. And then I'll find my running header title text variable, which I created. Double click on it to open it and, and edit it. And then instead of having a running header paragraph style, I'll choose running header character style. Remember, we just created a character style for the text that I want to show up in that running header. Pull down my style menu, and now it's showing me the character style. So I'll select title for running header, and we'll hit OK. And done. And now let's see if that works. So I'll hit spreads two and three. And now it only pulls in a historical survey of LDS fiction. If I scroll down to the second article, it's only calling it the narrative call pattern. So super cool, not too hard to use. Um, and it's a really great tool, especially if you're going to be, you know, eventually designing very long books or very long documents.